What's going on guys, Kyger here. Uh, trying out a new game here. It's not new, but it's new to me. Uh, it is working on their five year anniversary in about a month, month and a half. It's called Idle Heroes and it showed up in my Play Store. I know another content creator who's been playing it. I looked into it a bit. Uh, they're pretty good to their content creators. They're also seems like the community still really enjoys it still very thriving from what I see uh, it even to give you an idea it's discord has the same number of people roughly that uh, some of the newer games like soul leveling has now I also like these games because uh, they've been around for a while so there's no fear of them shutting down in four to six months or anything like that which makes me really happy when I find a game to play now what is interesting is uh, I think they need to work a little bit on the new player experience because uh, I'm gonna run you through some slides of what I unlocked as I went and just some frustrations I had trying to understand how certain things worked but once I learned how everything worked it's a very fun game and there's always something to do in your downtime as the name suggests idle heroes we are idling if we go to the campaign my characters are idling I am getting uh, equipment drops I am getting gold and player XP and stuff like that as it AFKs for me but uh, a big thing is there's a lot of game modes there's several different types of PvP there's tons of PvE content and mini games for you to do whenever you feel like it and none of them feel like they're must do's if you don't enjoy it now let's run you through my slides alright so I've played one day it is totally free to play I haven't spent a dime in the game I might I haven't decided yet let me know what you guys think down below if you want me to stay free to play uh, low spender like the passes and stuff is fine let me know but I'm going to uh, I'm going to review several things about the game and gauge interest so if you like what you see leave a like down below leave a comment let me know if you would like to see me keep doing this uh, okay so first thing we unlocked was the wishing fountain this is uh, where you summon you get uh, there's like the low tier scrolls there's the high tier scrolls and then the friendship summons friendship add as many friends as you can you can have 55 friends I don't know if you get more as you level but right now the cap is 55 and every 10 is a summon so do them as you see fit uh, the freebie ones you can get for gold pretty easily and the other ones come from events mainly or from the uh, in-game diamonds but that will be a different thing to talk about as we see we got that at chapter 2 5 then uh, I had a pop-up towards the bottom left hand corner that uh, they do CD keys in this game and they're actually pretty generous with these uh, they give us a bunch of codes this is a new player one IH idle heroes 777 uh, which will give you 40 scrolls if you once you beat uh, campaign 310 then we get to 210 unlock tower of oblivion which is a tower mode what I like about this is you will have a better chance to win if you play manually go in let it play but you can also click skip battle skip battle skip battle I got up to uh, 232 is where I ended up stopping at the end of my day and this is where the game ends at uh, 3 5 chat is unlocked uh, you get a world chat where you can chat with people on your server you get a uh, guild chat and uh, a recruitment chat for recruiting people to a party or recruiting people to a guild then at 315 we unlocked arena uh, this is just regular arena you do your five a day you can get extra attacks you fight them get higher standard arena rules apply here where uh, you get payout based on your rank and this is what I'm saying right 
uh, as you will see, we're about to start getting to some of the bigger unlocks, but most of these, with Arena it did, but with most of these you just unlock them. It doesn't actually run you through anything in the game explaining anything to you, you just have to find them yourselves. Uh, biggest gripe that I got was at one point uh, it had me dismantle uh, some of my lower one and two star characters for materials and space in my bag, but it never showed me where that was. So later on, once I wanted to dismantle, I didn't know where to go. Uh, I do now, but that's just the kind of thing they will screen jump you to whatever screen you need to get to, but not show you how to get to that screen. Prophet Tree, uh, this is another summoning uh, version, so I already told you the three ways before. Prophet, you get to choose a type and then summon on a banner of that type. And then you can also choose a favorite that after a pity you will get that uh, favorite. Tavern at 415. This is um, set and forget it. You send out uh, units to go get resources. They bring them back. You can do refreshes. This is what it looks like right here. Uh, seven hours, six hours, six hours. You could do team ones where you have to send several or you can do solo ones. Uh, the number right next to it, 544, four, that is the level of tokens you'll get. And then there's a token shop that you can get more stuff. Crystal Island uh, is uh, probably the biggest unlock you need to get day one. Uh, five, five. And what this is going to do, I don't show it here, but it gives you a land where you can put... Uh, where you can put uh, fountains that will get you stuff over time. So there's a gold one, there's a diamond one, which is the in-game currency. And then there's the uh, one that I fo I'm currently focusing on building at first, which is a resource one, which will allow me to level up all the other ones, which will allow me to get more per hour. Uh, Star Arena, another version of uh, PvP. This one's kind of interesting. You get uh, lumped in a group of... Uh, four other players you fight all four of them and if you win matches you get to take some of their units to use in the next set of matches uh, which is pretty cool fantasy arcade told me nothing about it but it's an you can kind of ignore this for the most part I will make something about it but for the most part it means nothing if you skip it it's a you could do a tower defense uh, game mode in here which is kind of fun or you can do a resource management thing that a lot of people won't like. Brave Trials, uh, fight people, take their stuff. And this is probably the biggest thing that a lot of people don't like about the game from what I've seen so far. And that is, there's no power requirement to advance in the story. Uh, there are level requirements. And that's, as you see, gold. The blue is a character uh, unit experience, and EXP is experience for me. And my level has to be a certain uh, level to go further in the game. This was the first roadblock I, uh, I got met with. But what was interesting is it was already getting hard at this point. So there's no real reason for the level requirement. Just let me progress, and as it gets harder, make me stop. As you see, uh, 616, it required level 36, and at 618, it requires 37. You can see where the toughness is coming in to play here. Uh, then I went to bed, woke up. This was all in the same 24 hours. I did a claim, and then I was level 50. Uh, they have these, it's the cool events tab. Offers, events, monthly events, cool events, event preview. Uh, all these things you always want to be checking. And here's one right here that it never told me about. And I never would have known if I wasn't looking. At level 50, I can come in here and start doing stages to get uh, more materials that the game just doesn't tell you about. And that's what I mean. Uh, fighters competition and tavern quest event huge things that just show up in your box and you're like I don't even know what I did fighters competition do PvP get rewards tavern quest do tavern get rewards 
Fusion Awakening. Uh, do fusions get rewards? And that's the last thing I'm going to end this video on. One second here. So, two things actually. One is down here you'll see my uh, character's picture. Chapter 15. This is so you know you're going in the right direction. You want to be up to date on these things. You want to be clearing them as they come. And leading into the next thing are these things right here, puppets. Why would I need a puppet, right? Uh, the puppet is very, very weak and kind of unusable. But the main idea here is that we would come over here to Fortune Ruins and you could do Alter, which is where I dis uh, disassemble people, get rid of them. So if I do three, it'll get rid of several three stars and I would get materials leaving me with space. But there's also creation circle this is another thing they show you how to do in the game but don't show you where it is so creation circle these are all the units in the game and you can craft them for the most part so if we take a look right here let's look at one of the weakest uh, units that we get in the game uh let's see do, do, do. you start off unlocking this guy this is one of the first ones Roy right here so he starts off at four star if you get a couple two copies of him uh, some other three stars of the same faction four stars of the same faction you can bring him up to five and then once you have him at five you can start bringing him up to six star which as you see increases his level cap and his stats so this is another version of uh, bringing them up and if we look at some of the highest let's just look at a random top tier one it's going to require two of her and then four five and six star units so and those are going to give you bonuses as well as we can see the final level cap of the game is 250 uh, if you want to see if you're curious about my characters 140 is where I'm at I'm starting to learn the fusion uh, I got a couple six stars but this is a very interesting game it can sound like a lot especially right now as we start but as you poke around and look at it it becomes pretty easy and decently fun let me know what you guys think down below and uh, if you guys want to see more of this i'm going to be doing a couple more no matter what but if you guys like this uh, I will join the CC program, get codes and things for you guys every month. And until next time, guys.